Now I recently made a video discussing the current Winnipeg Jets players that they have allowed to go overseas, or I guess I should probably say loaned is the proper term, to go currently play right now in Europe while they're having leagues because they want these guys to stay fresh and develop and work on their game because we currently don't know what the current state of North American hockey will be moving forward. And in that video I left out Christian Veselainen because at that time he hadn't started playing for his team in Liga yet. Now I'm not even going to bother to try to say it because my Finnish is horrible right now, I'm still trying to learn how to pronounce some words. But but he's playing on a team. I'm going to attempt it for you guys only. Hamalina, I believe that's what it's called. HBK Hamalina in Liga. And currently he is lighting it up. And that's why we're going to be talking about Christian Veselina today. My least favorite prospect the Winnipeg Jets have is actually starting to turn on his offensive upside. And I'm hoping that he can bring this with him and keep it part of his game and bring it back to North America. If you Christian Veselainen so far, playing with uh, Hamelina in Liga, oh my god, what a tongue twister, but in three games, he's put up three goals, two assists for five points. Let's talk about him. Overall, when we look at Christian Veselainen, a lot of people have kind of started to move away from him as being like a good top six prospect the Winnipeg Jets possibly have in the system. When he first got drafted to the Jets and he came over, he played five games in 2018-19 with the Jets after being drafted. After that, he was sent down to the Moose and currently played 22 games with them, putting up four goals, nine assists for 13 points. But he had this whole fiasco, as some Jets fans will remember, and because of that, he decided to go over and play his season in the KHL instead. So the remaining of the season, he went over and played in... Helsinki, I, I think that's the team, York, I'm not even going to bother to pronounce the first one, but in the KHL, and in the KHL, like I said, 31 games played, 6 goals, 11 assists, 17 points, so overall, a decent campaign in 31 games, but a lot of fans of the Jets were unhappy to see him moving away from North American ice and going back to European ice, we wanted to see him develop more in North American ice and get him ready to hurriedly jump into the Jets sooner, but because of that, he went to the Moose last season, played 60 games, only putting up 12 goals, 18 assists for 30 points. Not a very productive year from a guy that a lot of fans had high hopes for. And then we move into currently this 2020-2021 season in Europe. Like I said, three goals, two assists for five points, and a lot of offensive upside, something that we haven't really seen in his game in a while in my opinion. Veselainen is a very good strong power forward. He has a good size on his body. He is six foot, 230 pounds, and overall 21 years old. So, a lot of potential still with him. But the interesting side that I like to think about, like I said re just a second ago, is the offensive potential. If he can somehow translate this offensive success in Europe and bring it with him to the AHL and even just turn it up a little bit from that season where he had 12 goals and get that even up to 20, that could be huge for the Jets moving forward. To have a guy in the moose putting up a successful campaign offensively is just another weapon they have to add to the cabinet of weapons that they have in their top six. When you look at the Jets' top six, it's really hard for me to find a lot of other better top sixes in the league currently just as with the roster they have assembled. Maybe not the way they play together, but this roster on paper. The Jets have one of the best top sixes in the league. Nikolai Ehlers, Blake Wheeler, Patrick Laine, Mark Scheifele, and now Paul Stastny to boot with that as well. And I'm forgetting the GOAT himself, KFC. Because of all of that, the Jets really do have a top, really good locked up top six. And the bottom six brings a lot of questions into it. You know, oh, we're we going to have guys like, who would play the bottom six? Do we have guys like Appleton? We have guys like Lowry, Cop, Perot, Nate Thompson. We just brought in Jack Rossovic to name a boot as well. And lots of other young guys too pushing for spots. And to have another guy like Vasilainen with the potential of bringing this offense to his game again, letting it spark him again, getting that flair, and letting him really develop more on his offensive upside. All I can really say with this, a lot of people, are excited that he's putting up the points in three, you know, five points in three games, and that's great. But the big thing that I want to take away from this is when he comes back and we get the AHL and we get the North American ice started up again, I want to see how his offense translates. That's the big thing for me. Overall, when I've watched him play in the AHL with the Moose, he does have a good size with him still, and he brings that off that size. But the problem is, is he loses the puck too much on the boards, in my opinion. Now, what he's done really well in the um, in Liga so far, and the reason why he's had so much offensive success is his puck possession, his puck control, and his shot selection. When you watch Veselainen come off, off the face-off draw on some of his goals that he's scored, the way he handles it, the way he picks his corners, the way he waits and is patient is something very important to see. Because we haven't really seen something like that since 2017-18 when he was drafted to the Jets after putting up 19 goals, 20 assists for 39 points in 44 games. Now, if he can somehow translate 
all of that offense with the patience and bring that back to the NHL with a heavier head set of hands, a heart being a lot harder on the stick, that could be really good for him because a prospect who doesn't have that for the Jets, who does play a lot, is Jack Rosovic. Now, a lot of fans like Jazz Rocks, Jack Rosovic, excuse me. I, for one, am not a big fan of his play style. I think he's too soft with the stick. I think he loses the puck way too much and gets stick lifted way too much, and he tries to do too much with the puck sometimes. And unfortunately, that can work really well for you in the juniors, but doesn't translate well to the NHL when guys are really putting the body on you, pressuring you constantly through the neutral zone and in the offensive zone as well. You're always under pressure in the NHL with size, body, stick placement, block shot, sliding into the lanes, whatever you can do to get that puck off, defenders do it in the NHL. We don't see as much of that desperate kind of defensive play in the juniors as much because it's a lot more offensive based and go, go, go high tempo. Now, if he can bring that patience, apply that to his game on North American ice, I could definitely see Veselin and really starting to get back to where Jets fans thought he could be in 2017-18 at the draft. Now, yes, I know Veselinen is looking like to be, he's still, in my opinion, the probably the best prospect forward-wise the Jets have at this point, next to Cole Perfetti, because the reason I say that is because Cole Perfetti hasn't played in the AHL yet, we haven't seen what he can do, and until then, I don't want to put any, like, you know, high hopes on the guy being NHL ready, because we really have no idea with Perfetti how long we have to wait to see to with his, how his development and everything, because of the way coronavirus has affected the leagues and the uncertainty we have surrounding the next couple seasons, and so forth, of basically our lives as well. So if Veselinen can somehow bring this and apply this to North American ice, his offense, his patience, I think that he could possibly elevate himself even above Cole Perfetti and being NHL ready and being a more beneficial asset to the team moving forward because of the fact that he's more NHL ready. He has played five games and he has, I will like to say, registered a point in those five games. Although it was an assist, he still has registered a point. So if Veselinen can translate this offensive success in the a Liga right now and bring that patience, bring the way that he's controlling the puck and bring all of that and apply it to his game in the AHL with the Moose and even possibly with the Jets moving forward, I definitely could see Christian Veselinen starting to elevate himself up the pecking order and really starting to get more playing time with the Jets. Paul Maurice loves these kind of like power forward grit guys. Look at Blake Wheeler, for example, Brian Little. These guys that really put a lot of physicality, that play the puck well, that have good puck possession. That's the type of guys that he likes, the veterans that he likes. So I think that if Veselinen can apply that to his game and really start to mature as a player, I think that he could definitely be with the Winnipeg Jets moving forward, or even having a more in impactful role with the Moose, I should, get, I should say. But let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. What are your thoughts on Veselinen so far? Are you happy with the way that he's playing so far in Liga? Do you think it'll translate well? Do you think that it's just been more of a fluke? Do you still think that he's going to have a streaky guy, not going to be that much of a beneficial part of the team moving forward? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. As always, thank you guys for all the support in every video. You guys have been killing it with all the support recently, so thank you all for that. With all that being said, I'm going to end the video out here. Peace, love, and positivity, guys. T take care. I will see you in the next video. Go Jets, go.